Reading is stupid. And against the law. Everyone knows this. What's up? You've made such intriguing design choices for the castle, my dear. They must be inspired. Thank you, Vivienne. I'm glad you approved. When things have settled down a bit, I will take you to Val Royo and introduce you to my seamstress. And appearances are important. We can't have you mistaken for a commoner. I suppose it's important to show that we're an authority to be respected. Not just respected, my dear. Awed, feared, aspired to. You command an army of the faithful, outfitted by the coin of the nobility. You must be a man who the common folk aspire to be and to whom the nobility bow. My actions will inspire them. Appearances don't matter. It would be a lovely world if we were all judged purely on our conduct, my dear. But it would not be this world. As the stories of the Inquisition spread, more and more people will wonder if you are the man they say you are. They will question what they've heard, but they will believe what they see. They must see someone greater than legends. If that's your standard for me, what does the Divine have to live up to? Andraste and the Maker cast very large shadows. The Divine absolutely must set the example for all Thedas. She must seem to be the embodiment of the Maker to the Faithful. She needs the authority of the Maker and the charisma of Andraste. It will be no small task to fill that vacant throne. How may I help you? Oh, baby. Do you think that you and I might Aren't you precious? Of course not, my dear. Oh, well. Okay, so my room's behind the scaffolding. Gotta do more quests to get past the scaffolding. It's okay. I understand. It is the will of the maker. Ooh, my quarters. Yes! I suppose it makes sense. Come in from stage left. Is it, is it left or stage left? S left to the people on the stage? I no longer know. What I do know is that this is where I go like whoop whoop. And then I put books on the shelf. Look at my books on the shelf. They look badass. Oh baby. No look at that shit. This fucking room is ginormous. Take. What am I taking? Recipe. Oh. Oh my lord. Better courtyard. Hmm. Quarries. Look at up in them quarries, yo. Look at this bed. That's how I do. How I do. This is how I do. This is how I do. This is how I do. Okay. Oh. Climb. Am I allowed to climb? No, no. Um, I stare out over my castle and I'm all like, I'm a badass. I stare out over this bullshit over here, and I'm like, wow, it's probably really cold out here. I should be wearing like a hoodie or something. Uh, Superior Tower Quarries. Hmm. 
Booze. Inquisitorial shit. My badass bro. And I jumped down. Oh! You know, it wouldn't work, but I had to try. Yes, I know. I will talk to people. I'll do this. Summon my war council. Summon them here. Oh, you know. I was just reading a book. Okay, I guess. Liliana? <sighs> Are you? I suppose not. Haven was trying. Inquisitor. Have you heard anything? Not yet. I'll let you know as soon as I do. Oh, there's no more long ones. Yes. At your service. At your service. Oh my lord.
Let's see what we have. There we go. Cutscene. Yeah. And what else did Lady Forsythia say? That she'd rather drown herself than help the Inquisition. Anything else? She said she'd have us flogged alive if we allied with her brother. That does sound like her. Cheer up, Josie. We at least have our attention. You always do find the brighter side of things. We are in the midst of cementing an alliance with Lady Forsythia of Nevara, your worship. It's become a somewhat delicate task. Can I do anything to help negotiations? Uh, thank you, but I believe I have matters in hand. I dissuaded her from sending soldiers when she learned we'd struck an accord with a brother she's feuding with. Lady Forsythia simply employs a colorful manner of speech. rather good-natured about threats of death and dismemberment. They are chiefly bluster, Inquisitor. Most of them. But I confess I do miss my staff from the Embassy in Antiva. It was always useful to discuss the day's visitors with them. I have time, if you'd like to review things with me. I wouldn't wish to impose. If it were imposing, I wouldn't have offered. Well, I admit, there are a few potential alliances it would be good to discuss. You take me to an alliance menu now? Okay. Right on the parlor floor. In front of everyone at the soiree. Who does such a thing in front of their guests? The Duke of Kellington, apparently. And then there's cold lurking. It frightens our guests half to death. Lord Genar still won't respond to our letters. And Sarah. Can she not find a single overshirt with that mustard taint on it? Then there's Dorian. The man refuses to take anything seriously unless it suits his whim. Not to mention... Oh, oh goodness. Have we been here an hour already? It went by so quickly, I didn't even notice. You're far too polite. I didn't intend to go on for so long. You must think me quite the gossip. No one else here has your experience, Josephine. Or your stories. I'll try to curtail their length next time. But I leave feeling less troubled than I have in weeks. Wow, what a cool cutscene. Oh look, I would have accidentally have found where my bedroom was. Up, Arcanist. Inquisitor? The Arcanist has arrived. You should see for yourself. She'd be crazy. That's cr pro. And gross, I guess. Hello there. Oh, 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 she's the tiny dwarf chick. Dagna, I remember you from that one other game. 
Supervisor. Hear him. The Inquisitor. I'm Dagna. Arcanist Dagna. It's an honor, Your Worship. Is that it? The hand anchor mark? It's pretty. The breach was pretty, too. In a destroy everything sort of way. You're not quite what I was expecting. You're a dwarven arcanist? The only one. When you learn things everyone says you can't, you get to be the first. I don't need to tell you. I've looked at Herod's devices. The precision is fantastic, but typical. Mundane. Old thinking. No disrespect meant to the classical trades, but you need a new perspective. I've made adjustments. As long as I keep making them, you can craft just about anything. Almost safely. What is it you do, exactly? I was born to the Forge. That's literal in this mid-cast. So the hammer and tong, that's like a heartbeat. But you've a man for that already, and a good one. I'm here because of my passion for magic. Magical study, magical theory, magical enchantment, and through it, the manipulation of masterworks. I studied it all with an objective eye. No secrets, no fears. That lets me apply principles like no other. Maybe one other. But I don't have that wonky of a mind, so I still kind of win. You have the ability to make exceptional weapons and armor. Masterworks? There's an art to the forge, as well as enchanting. You need an ear for it. And hands. Eyes, too. Nothing bad to say about Herod on that front. He's, he's wonderful. But there's this little more needed. With the right bits, an edge can be more than an edge. Armor can do more than protect. A hue can be just a bit brighter. In short, smithing can be... more. <laughs> In short. <laughs> What's the story with enchanting? Lyrium is the heart. In certain rational patterns, it beats like something alive. That's how I see it. So, you can make your weapons do things, but with the right runes, the right rarities, your toys become wonders. It's the one thing mages can't do drives them mad. Literally. Dwarves are resistant, so it doesn't affect us. Mostly. Another time, Jack. Of course. Bring me what you want made, and I'll make sure it goes just right. Well, how are you? What qualifies you to be an arcanist? I took the title because I'm a magical researcher, philosopher, and master of practical application. And I like it. I can't actually do magic because I'm a dwarf, but that also means no risk of possession, safer than a mage. It means that every skill I have, I can learn through reason and understanding. Coming from the Smith cast, I know the value of mastering craft. Did you know dwarves invented enchanting? Probably. Where does a dwarf go to study magical theory? Get out. I asked myself that question for years. Turns out, not in Orzammar. I had to start at a circle. I had help, though. A great warden, and I am forever grateful. With that sanction, I visited a half dozen circles. The wonders I've seen. And with an objective eye, I can spot where they overlap. That's a surprise for every teacher. It's a grand tradition, and it works so well with new thinking. You were quick to join the Inquisition. Is there something you want? How could I waste a chance to get close to you? And Corinthius, my goodness. And actual physical rifts in the veil. Also, dwarves? We don't dream. So, when mages talk about it, I can only... Well, dream what it would be like. So there's that, and all the things you'll probably find, and what I'll get to make. The rules are different here. Plus, you're paying me a lot. Like, wow. So much. <laughs> you seemed impressed by the anchor. What does it look like to you? I heard what everyone says what you heard Corythia say. That's a long chain of who said what. To me, it says key. The key is to a lot of things. Open, lock, switch. Some open one thing, some open everything. It sounds like Corythia's made it to open. 
but it looks like you can use it to close. It may be that simple. It sure is pretty. Wish I could see through it. You mentioned a Grey Warden who helped you start your studies? Not any Grey Warden. THE Grey Warden. The hero of Ferelden is a hero in Orzammar, too. It's incredible that someone like the hero of Ferelden would stop to help the little people. Literally. <laughs> Warden affected you in a special way. Talk to anyone, they'll say the same. It was a dark time. There was one light. He saved us. He saved me. Your years of study have paid off. Oh, yes. The mages said I brought a valuable perspective. I've even presented my work to the College of Enchanters. I wanted an exchange. The surface could learn about Lyrian smithing, and Orzammar would gain knowledge of magic. But now there's no college. And so far as the Shaper is Some great stuff. You gave up so much. Left your home. Was it really that amazing? Yes. I left my home and my family, but I knew. I just knew I could be more than a smith. I wish my people weren't stuck in the past, and I regret that my father couldn't imagine another life for me. But I don't regret what I did. All right, Raven. Right, sorry. I get carried away when I think of it. Ready when you need me. To answer the great mysteries. It'll be wonderful. Dagnar, show me what you can do. Do you want fire? The first ask is always fire. It's fire, isn't it? Here's how it goes. Bring me the rare stuff for enchanting or masterworks and prep it here, just like normal. Except it's not. It's manipulation of primal forces. And I'll make sure it goes just right. We'll see. Let's see together. Oh.
I think our interview stopped, so I'll just give it to Varric since he's not changing his weapon anytime soon. I love it. <laughs> 